at the highest level, we'll say is one. And everything emerges from that one. So from the from the point of one, there's total clarity because there's only one. So there's no two, so there's no alternate options. There's just the clarity of one. As you further differentiate from that, then you get more and more options. And at this, at the the further down from that point, then uh, if you're approaching this from your analytical mind, then you're trying, it's like trying to sort for, for a, a needle in a haystack because you've got a multitude of options and your analytical mind is trying to figure out which one, which one, which one, where, where is it, which one? And that's very difficult, especially because that, that had, you've cut yourself off from the clarity of one when you're just down there in the muck with the analytical mind trying to figure it out. When you have an internal focus, your tendency is to connect to higher levels, which gives you greater clarity. And then you can bring that clarity down, back down into the manifest realm. And then you can, it's like, then you know exactly where the needle is. It's like, there it is, because the clarity has, knows exactly where it is. It has the path that shows exactly where it is. So, that's the approach that I recommend, is keep a more internal focus instead of consulting your phone, instead of consulting Instagram or YouTube or Google. The more that you can develop the connection and faith with the intuitive guidance, the more clarity you can get. And it takes some practice um, because at first what happens is you, you'll get the intuitive flash, but you'll override it usually because of the habit of the overemphasis on the analytical mind. So the doubts will come in. So you'll get this flash of clarity. And then, but then usually because of that habit of, of the emphasis on the analytical mind, you're back in and you're thinking, well, maybe this and maybe that, I'm not sure that that was true. Maybe this other thing. And, you know, so you're back in the muck again, but then if you keep practicing connecting with, that higher intuitive intelligence, you'll get more and more of those intuitive flashes. And the more that you do that, the more familiar it becomes, the more you're able to recognize it, then you can start to actually trust and put that into practice. And then you'll see that you get good outcomes from that, which will build your faith in that. So then less and less will you be tempted to be consulting the analytical mind because you'll know that you get reliable information through the intuitive mind. So it's really just a matter of practice. Uh, the way that, so, uh, you know, for example, and there, there are many ways to do that. One simple way is breath awareness. So you can set an intention prior to doing a uh, breath awareness practice. So you might say, I will, you know, my intention is to get clarity regarding this matter. And you can even write it down on a piece of paper and just turn it over and put it in front of you. So you just know, like, you don't even have to think about it. You just, you've written it down and you've put it there and it's turned upside down. So you're not seeing it or anything. And then you can just give your total attention to the breath awareness practice. So you just let your mind be free. You don't have to focus on anything. You don't have to try to find answers. You don't have to think about anything and just trust that you will receive clarity and guidance on that matter. Then you just be receptive and don't, don't try and grasp for anything. Trust and know that it will come to you and you don't have to try. And it, then it will come to you, it will come to you during the practice, it will come after the practice, or it will come later that day. And when it comes, then I would also encourage you, just write it down. Don't, don't give any thought to it at all, just write it down. You'll, when it comes to you, you'll just have a sense of it. It'll, don't, don't analyze it, don't judge whether it's right or wrong, just write it down. Because otherwise what happens is, like I said, your analytical mind comes in and it starts doubting. It says, I don't know about that. That seems risky. You're really sure. Maybe, maybe I was just making that up. It could be these other things. So just write it down and don't, you don't have to do anything with it, right? So no pressure. You don't have to 
just by writing it down, you're not committing that you're going to follow through on that or anything. It doesn't matter what it is. You're just writing it down just to have that information documented. Uh, by doing that, then you will at least have that information because otherwise, if you allow yourself to doubt it, pretty soon you've forgotten entirely. You get yourself very confused. I, that's the information that I got. Whether I act on it or not is another thing. It doesn't matter, but at least I know what the information is. And, uh, and then you can see what happens. So, you know, if you keep doing that and maybe you keep getting similar kinds of guidance, then maybe that's suggesting something to you that maybe you want to explore that a little bit and test that out and see if that might give you better results. Um, and you don't have, sometimes you might ask for something, you might ask for guidance in a way that's like, um, feels like too stressful or too high pressure. Like you might ask, should I stay or should I go? And it might seem like high stakes because you're like, you know, if the answer is go, then you might say, oh, but I don't know if I can, you know, this, that's a big commitment. So then maybe it's useful to ask for guidance that is not so high stakes, right? Like maybe you can get guidance on things that are lower stakes things it's just so you can build your trust in it because if you're from the outset you're trying to get guidance on high stakes things and then you're going to be hesitant to even act on that guidance it's going to be difficult for you to take that action and get the results to be able to put it to the test so that you can know whether this is actually working for you versus if you're asking for guidance on things that are lower stakes that you can low risk take action on and see the results that can help to build your faith in that intuitive guidance.